Hi, so we have one more problem based on LCM or GCD and the problem statement says a number has remainder 1 when divided by 2. It has a remainder 2 when divided by 3. The remainders are 4, 5 and 6 when it is divided by 5, 6 and 7. Find the smallest possible value for this number. So the time when we were discussing the properties or the additional results based on LCM and GCD, we discussed that if the difference between the divisor and remainder is constant, like when we divide it by 2, we get remainder 1. The difference over here is 1. And when we divide it by 3, we get remainder as 2. Again, the difference between the divisor and remainder is 1. Right? So if the difference between the divisor and remainder is constant, then that number which we are trying to find will actually be the LCM of all the divisors minus the difference of the divisor and remainder. If you have any confusion, you can watch that video in the link given below. So using this result, we can find the smallest possible such number. And the value of that number will be that number, if you assume it to be n, this will be equal to the LCM of 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 minus the difference and difference over here is 2 minus 1 is 1 and if we divide by 3 remainder is 2 again the difference between the divisor and remainder is 1 and if the divisor is 5 the remainder is 4 again the difference is 1 and when we divide it by 6 we get remainder as 5 the difference is again 1 and if the divisor is 7 remainder is 6 and again we get the difference equal to 1 so that minimum possible number will actually be the LCM of 2, 3, 5, 6 and 7 minus 1. This 1 is actually the difference or the common difference between all the divisors and remainders. Right? So let me erase this and what we have to do next? Next we have to find the LCM of 2, 3, 5, 6 and 7. Right? I'm using the division method. First we'll divide all the possible numbers by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 3 is a prime number, 5 is also a prime number, 2 3 is a 6 and 7 is a prime number. Right? And now we'll divide by 3. 3 ones are 3, 5 is a prime number, 3 ones are 3 and 7. Right? And now we'll divide by 5. 5 is a 5, 1 and 7 is a prime number and now it is divisible by 7. Right? So we have got all the quotients 1 over here. Right? So the LCM of 2, 3, 5, 6 and 7 will be 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 7, right? 5, 2 is a 10, 7, 3 is a 21. So the LCM will actually be 210, right? So we have got the LCM. The smallest possible number will be 210 minus 1, that is 209. So 209 will be the number. When you divide it by 2, you will get remainder as 1. And if you divide it by 3, you are going to get remainder as 2. So if I divide 209 by 2, 2 ones are 2, 0. If I note this 0 down, 0 will be over here. And now if I note this 9 down, 2, 4 is 8. And now if I subtract, I get 1 as remainder. Right? Similarly, if I divide it by 3, 3, 6 are 18, 2, if I note this 9 down, 3, 9's are 27 and 29 minus 27 is 2, which is the remainder, right? And now if I divide it by 5, 5, 4's are 20, 0, let me note this 9 down and 5, 1's are 5. And if I subtract, I get 4 as remainder. 
So when we divide it by 5, we are getting remainder as 4. And now if I divide it by 6, 6 threes are 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. And if I note this 9 down, we get 29 and 6 fours are 24. And now the remainder is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. Right? So when we divide it by 6, we get remainder as 5. And now let's check the result with 7. 7 twos are 14. If I subtract, I get 6. And if I note down this 9 and 7 nines are 63. And now if I subtract, 9 minus 3 is 6. So in this case, we get 6 as a remainder. Right? So this was the proof. And the smallest number about which we were talking is 209.